Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with a brief overview of the UHD 401 HDMI 4-port switch. This product makes it very simple to choose between up to four HDMI inputs for viewing on a monitor or home theater system. You can make that selection using the button on the front of the unit or with the included infrared remote from across the room. In addition to the unit support of a full 4K ultra high definition video stream, it also provides for audio extraction, which makes connecting this unit to your home audio system very simple. In essence, whatever input you select, the audio from that will be fed to your home audio system to give you that full theater experience. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing to show you all the components that come with the kit. Then I'll do a close up of the unit and explain what the connections and indicators do. And then finally, I'll come back and install the unit here to show you just how simple it is to use it when you get it home and connect it to your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you pop open the box, you'll find the unit itself. We include a five volt power supply, very simple to use. You plug that into the wall. This end gets plugged into the back and you're ready to go. I'd mentioned the infrared remote control before. You can use this from quite a distance away so you can sit in a chair comfortably across the room and make the selection between the inputs. And then finally, we include an instruction manual. Now, this is a great place to start because there's a lot of information in here about the audio and video standards the product will support. There's warranty information and there's contact information here as well. So that if you need to get a hold of us with any questions or problems, there's information in there on how to do that. So now that you understand what comes with the kit, stay tuned and we'll take a closer look at the product itself. The case of the switch comes in a smoky gray color, which really fits in fine with any decor. It's a very high-end look. Nice rounded corners make it pretty stylish. On the bottom of the unit, you've got two rubber feet on either side that'll keep the unit pretty much stable on any flat surface, whether that be your desktop or your media center. They also help to raise the unit off of that surface a little bit to allow these ventilation holes to keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the front of the unit, you've got four indicators here, and that's showing you exactly which of the input selections you've made, and you can cycle through those using this button. So every time you tap the button, it'll move to the next input source, or you can use the infrared remote, and there's an indicator here that reminds you you've got to keep this end of it facing you if you're using the remote, because the LED that receives this signal is behind that. The remote itself has got five buttons on it. You can go directly to any one of the four input sources by hitting the corresponding button, or you can cycle through them using that button right there. On the back of the unit, that's where your connections are made. Five volt power supply that's included with the unit gets plugged in here and that gives you all the power you need to run it. Then you've got four input sources and these can be computer, game console, laptop, cable box, whatever you want to plug in there. As long as they're HDMI connections, you're good to go. On the right side of the unit, you've got the output connector. This goes to your display or your monitor. And then I'd mentioned earlier that it has an audio out function, and that's really something you don't find in a lot of these switches. What that'll do is it actually strips out the audio through an analog signal from whichever input source you've selected currently and allows you to pump that into your home media center. So you can actually take the audio that would normally be coming through this output to your display or your monitor and strip that out and feed it into a, a 7151 audio system that actually gives you that theater experience. Nothing much on the other side. So stay tuned a second and I'm going to tell you some of the specifications of what this unit can support. Some of the general features that the O-Ray UHD-401 HDMI 4 input switch provides include infrared remote control or manual control of the selection of your input, analog audio extraction, which allows you to easily connect up this unit to a home audio system to enjoy that theater experience, and then finally 4K ultra high definition video through all four of the inputs. Those media sources can include products such as home PCs, game consoles, streaming devices like Apple TV or Roku, home surveillance systems, cable boxes, and any other source that delivers a video signal over HDMI. Video support includes HDMI 2.0B, HDCP, both 2.2 and 1.4 compliance, 4K up to 60 Hertz, and a video stream support for 18 gigabytes at 600 megahertz. The audio support includes DTS Digital, Dolby Digital True HD, DTS-HD Master Audio, LPCM, and the unit also supports pass-through for both 5.1, 7.1, and 9.1. Now I'll show you just how simple it is to connect the UHD 401 to your own gear. And for this demonstration, I have four separate HDMI input sources, a Roku streaming player, an Android-based media player, a home PC, and a laptop. And I'll connect all four up to the HDMI switch and show you how you can share those to a single monitor. And we'll start with the Roku player. 
I'll connect that up to HDMI input source one, standard HDMI connection, the media player to source two, the home PC to source three, and finally the laptop to source four. Now you'll notice all the cables come out the back, which makes it really easy for cable management. Now I'll connect up the monitor to the side. Now I haven't applied power yet, and that's because when you first power up the unit, it's going to check your monitor to see what resolutions it can comfortably display, and then it'll also check your input sources as you step through them and make whatever adjustment is needed to give you the best possible picture out of the unit. So let me power it up, and we'll see where we start. So right now it's coming up on input source one, which should be the Roku. It takes a second to assess that media source, then it'll display it on the monitor. Let me switch to two. That'll be the media player. Again, it takes a second or two to adjust because they're at different resolutions. There you go, the media player. Now we'll go to three, which is the home PC. And again, a different resolution than the Roku player. And there's your home PC and finally the laptop. Now, if you're close enough to the unit, it's easy to use that front switch, but if you're doing this in your media center, maybe it's on a table far away from you, you have the remote you can use as well. So let me switch to input source two, and you can see that it changed. And again, this works really well across the room, so it should come up right now on the media player. There you go. So it's really just that simple, and again, it's a very easy unit to use. It's got a wide range of different video and audio support that it provides, and it has a 4K ultra high definition resolution, which is the latest and greatest technology. So it's gonna work well with pretty much anything you wanna plug into it. I hope you found this overview of our UHD 401 HDMI four port switch helpful. It's the perfect solution that allows you to connect up to four HDMI devices to a single monitor and easily switch between those inputs. If you have any further questions about the product, please check our FAQ on our website or use the contact us link to send us a note and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Thanks an awful lot for watching.